legislative reform which comes with a new dawn government. The government is seeking to review labor and industrial regulations, social protection and productivity legislation to address the gaps observed this far from those who have gone before us and from what we have seen ourselves over the years. We may not have been seated where we are sitting, but we too would have been observing particular areas that, um, that have um, prevalent gap, uh, gaps that we thought as um, a new dawn government we would contribute to and bring it in line with the international best practice. In this regard, government um, revised the legislation on NAPSA by reducing the penalty rate, as you would have been aware by now, on outstanding arrears from 20% to what which used to be charged um, to 10% and to grant a waiver as well. The, the piece of legislation also provides for waiver on accrued penalty arrears for those that are deserving, that have got a compelling uh, reason, business case, for them to get such um, a waiver. Um, uh, benefit coming into the financial market, we believe that you will also be able to um, to recipro uh, reciprocate uh, to the people of Zambia and all the corners of this country uh, that may be uh, your your channel for, for, for this benefit to benefit from some of your services to enhance um, the job securities or the creation of jobs that we are looking for so that people don't go straight to the supermarket. <laughs> so we're looking forward to you assisting us. We um, uh, basically represent ourselves as a bank uh, that is trying to um, you know, make sure that we drive Zambia's growth. Now, um, Honorable Minister, I think I'll be failing in my duties um, if I don't uh, congratulate you um, and your ministry um, for the marvel of a hotel um, that you uh, basically unveiled last week in Livingston, uh, the investment um, uh, out of NAPSA um, in Livingston. I think that's, that's a very strategic um, asset uh, that we saw last week and of a very high uh, quality uh, in, in terms of standards. And, and definitely, I think, also delivering, um, I think, what the, the NAPSA mandate is, but also, I think, adding to the workforce um, of Zambia. I think that's, those are quality jobs uh, that are coming through there. So, um, Honourable Minister, the purpose of our visit um, today is, is, like I said, uh, to introduce ourselves um, as standing.